Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Getting ready right into this video today, we're using the McCart Pink and Bling Poly Gel Kit. In this kit, you got the directions of how to use a poly gel. You get this cute little lamp. Uh, you also get these dual forms and you get some nail forms. You get the directions on how to use the lamp. You got your pink McCart nail file, your base and your top coat, a slip solution. This is your poly gel brush. Super cute. I love all the pink here. And now we're going to be swatching these colors for you. In this kit, you also get some rhinestones and then you get these four really pretty glitters. In this video, I am trying that hack where you use full cover plastic tips as dual forms and then you can just supposedly pop them off at the end of your application. Uh, so we're trying that out today. First I applied that base coat into the nail and now I'm applying the silver and blue glitters that came in that kit. Putting in that poly gel, I'm using the slip solution that came in the kit. I'm going to use my brush here now to push that around. I'm going to apply it to my nail and then I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. For my middle finger, I am going for an ombre look, putting that lighter, clear, jelly looking poly gel up at the top, and then I'm putting that more opaque pink at the bottom. In between nails, I am curing for 60 seconds. I still have the plastic tips on the nails. I haven't taken those off yet. On my ring finger, I am going for another glitter look, placing that base gel into the tip and now applying the blue glitter that came in the kit.
going in now and wiping off any of that sticky that may have gotten on those nails and then I'm going to try popping these off. So when I went to go do this, I was able to get three of the nail tips off. The ones that I used the base gel in for the glitter, I was not able to get off, which I probably should have figured that before I did this. But uh, next time I would just use the clear poly gel since I was able to get the ones off that I didn't use the base gel on. However, I believe this is so you can use these tips over again and I was not able to get them off in a good enough shape where I'd be able to use them again. So next time I'd probably use maybe a peel off base gel or maybe put like a layer of um, cuticle oil in or something like that and maybe try that next time. Because I can get those other two nails off, that would be considered the Femi Beauty method. Now we are going to try some stamping and oh my gosh, did this give me such a hard time. Stamping looks so much easier when other people do it. I was so frustrated by the end of this video with stamping because I for the life of me could not get it right. You are definitely going to see the struggle here as I keep trying and failing so I have to keep cleaning it off with acetone and trying again. I must have done this a dozen times for each nail whatever design I wanted to do because I definitely didn't get it right the first time on any of them. Finally, after that's done, I am going in with my Model Ones gel glue and I'm going to apply some rhinestones to finish off this look. After I apply rhinestones, I am flash curing for 15 seconds or so, so those rhinestones stay in place. And because I was so frustrated with this video and the stamping before, I just didn't realize how out of frame a lot of this stuff was. So I definitely apologize about that, and that is most definitely something that I need to work on.
both my index finger and my thumb were out of frame when I was applying the rhinestones, so unfortunately I did not get that on camera. But this here is the finished look. I still think they turned out cute even with, you know, the struggle. I'm not going to give up on stamping. They have so many different ones and cute designs that I just need to get better at it. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye!